I'm Christine from Courageous Painting, and I'm going to show you how to create a painting from a penny. I loaded up the edge of my penny with paint and started to spread it across the canvas. I decided to start with the sky and work my way around the painting from there, mostly because I love a good sunset. Since the penny is so rigid, I used it to make thick strokes of paint that had a lot of texture. I also incorporated the wet on wet technique. Wet on wet is when you apply a new layer of paint onto an existing layer that's still wet instead of waiting for it to dry. I personally love this technique because who's not impatient when they're painting? That's right, I'm impatient, me. Wet on wet is a great way to mix colors on the canvas and complete a whole painting in one sitting. But if you aren't careful, instead of creating a colorful painting, you might just make mud. So the hardest thing about painting with a penny is its size. Did you know that today pennies are about the same size as dimes? But they weren't always that small. In fact, the original penny was about the size of today's half dollar. This is pretty strange when you consider it's the smallest form of currency. I think painting with a penny would have been a lot easier if I had an original penny. Don't you think? Holding onto the penny wasn't easy. And there were a bunch of times I just placed it on the canvas and nudged it around with my finger. <laughs> To my surprise, most of the time, it ended up looking pretty good. Yeah, I think I like it. Moving on to the ocean, I got a little more courageous about the amount of paint I was applying to the canvas. I even developed a strange technique when I applied two colors at once. Do you want to know a secret? It was actually an accident. Yep. Basically, I was getting tired of wiping the old paint off of the penny. And they said being lazy doesn't help you get anywhere. Well, in my case, it really helped me make great waves with a penny. The edge or thickness of a penny is one millimeter. That's 0.5 millimeters less than a toothpick. And I'm using this beautiful edge of the penny to carve all of the details into the wave. I kind of wonder how this painting would have turned out if I used a toothpick. I mean, after all, it is thicker than a penny. What do you think? Moving on to the tree. This is the part of the painting when I really began to doubt myself because that orange color just seems so wrong. Luckily, I kept going and I eventually changed my mind about the whole situation. As Benjamin Franklin once said, time is money. I definitely took my time creating this painting mostly because painting with a penny is time consuming, but I enjoyed every minute of it. This is the third video I've made about painting with something other than a paintbrush, 
And I'm really enjoying this series and I wanna hear from you. What do you think I should paint next? Leave me a comment below and let me know, okay? I really need your help. The last thing I had to paint were the leaves on the tree, and this part was so fun. I mean, just look at it. Doesn't that look fun? It really was. I 100% recommend painting with a penny. I do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I used the wet and wet technique I told you guys about earlier, and I started from my dark colors and worked my way to my lighter colors. Lastly, I finished off this painting with some highlights and I called it. This video wouldn't be complete without a final reveal. So here you go. Like this video if you enjoyed it and check out my painting without a paintbrush playlist for more fun and I will see you guys next time.